Hey traders and welcome to Jackrabbit Trader. My name is Steve and in this video we're going to take a look at the markets for Saturday, November 9th, 2019. If this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. We're putting videos like this out every weekend and don't want you to miss anything. With that said, let's get started. Let's take a look first at the SPY. And if you're unfamiliar with this chart that we have here, this is basically what I consider the market cycles. Uh, in my opinion, the markets go through ebbs and flows and we wanna make sure we're always in sync with the markets. So this chart really tells us when we should be playing offense and when we should be playing defense. And if you're looking for some more information on it, you can check out our free weekly trading process e-course down at the link below. But essentially, anytime the market is above the 21-day exponential moving average, we are going to be playing offense, and anytime it's below it, we want to be playing defense. So we've been in a green market cycle since the beginning or middle of October, since 10-12, on this close back up above the 21-day exponential moving average. And you can see that really since then, just about three or four weeks now, we're, we've been really just riding this eight day, which is the white line here. So this market has just been continued to move higher and move higher. All right, and now we're getting a little extended from the 21 day, but you could see we're just trading right up against this eight day moving average. And you know, again, this is the time that we wanna be playing some offense and really trying to capitalize on this market move. So now knowing where we want to be in the markets and how we want to approach them, let's take a quick look at the indices. Start with the SPY on the weekly. <clears throat> last week, talked about the breakout over 302. Got that last week, All right, Nice strong close after a pullback that we came back down to this 284, uh, bounced. And then you now here we are breaking to new highs, breaking out of this <clears throat> broadening pattern here. Okay, with the blue lines, you could see that the highs were getting higher, lows were getting lower. And really just looking at it from a technical perspective, just a breakout after about a, a six month or uh, not, not, not six months, maybe four months of consolidation breakout. And now we're looking for it to push to new highs. Uh, if we look at it on the daily chart, all right, same thing that we saw. Here's that 302 level. All right, so in on the daily, we're looking at more of a channel, approaching channel resistance up here, maybe around 315 or so is where we would say we would hit channel resistance. Not sure if it's going to get there, but you know what? If we can continue staying above this eight day, uh, you know, this is this is a strong market right now and you know nothing to say that we can't get there so my first inclination here would be obviously or first sign of weakness would be a a break back below the eight day all right that would be a moment for us to pause and see where exactly we stand on that chart but other than that you know let's just see how long this can run to the upside let's take a look at the cues all right, similar breakout that we saw in the SPY. All right, same thing from last week. Had this consolidation. 181 is support. Broke out to the upside, and now it's just continuing higher. The diamonds. All right, got a new breakout this week in the diamonds. So you know, remember if this is, you know, if you have a small account or if you're looking for to just trade a um, an ETF, you know, you could easily buy the diamonds. DIA, which it basically mimics the Dow Jones. And here we are breaking out to new highs. And we can now remove this drawing. And this is now your stop. And you treat it just like any other breakout trade where we just trail stops to the upside and let this thing run as long as it can. But there's your consolidation, your breakout to new highs. And again, forget that it's an ETF and you can easily take that trade uh, to the upside. And last but not least, the IWM, right, coming right up against resistance here at 181.50. Not as convincing of a breakout, but look at the strong move it's had off the 145 level. So seeing a pause here at 158.50, not surprising. Again, there it is on the daily chart. 
and you can see this level this 159 160 level becoming some significant resistance so i would i would be a little wary of this uh the iwm but again just been in a range between 159 and 145 and it, you know see where this wants to go but strong move to the upside let's see what happens does it consolidate for some time and break out again or does it get rejected from this level and start heading back to the bottom end of this consolidation a lot of people believe that the iwm the small caps lead the larger caps iwm is the smaller cap uh, index so again if this starts to roll over then maybe yes maybe we do start to see a pause in the broader markets and start to maybe potentially consolidate or pull back all right so now that we got that out of the way right we're breaking out basically on, on three of four of the major indices and now let's see what sectors are actually outperforming others again first time here the first column that we have here this percent uh, change this is over the last seven days and then the second column percent change is over the last 30 days and you can see if we sort by percent change over the last week the xle xlf xli xlk and XLB are all outperforming the SPY, which was up 1.58% this week. And if we sort by the last month, XLK, XLV, XLF, and XLI all outperforming. All right, so let's just put those in order and let's just run through these real quick. XLB, here you go, breaking out to new highs. Okay, next stop for the XLB would be right around the 61 area, right? So again, looking at this as if it were a trade, here's your larger consolidation pattern. Break out to new highs, first resistance level 61, second resistance level up here in the, get the right tool for the right job, in the 64 level. So here we are breaking a downtrend consolidation, break out to the upside, riding the uptrend higher, First stop 61, second stop 64, but the XLB, the materials ETF, looks ready to uh, move higher. XLE, still in a very much in a downtrend, but starting to put in a significant base down here around 55. You can see that it's touched it not only over the last two months here in September, but also in August, and then again back here in late. 2018 all right so this level 55 strong level you know nothing to say that you can't start accumulating a position here uh, maybe use this 5570 you get down here again and bounce you know maybe take a little bit more but this one may be something that you want to watch for, for the coming months maybe a potential rotation back to the upside and a new leader in this space xlf all right we talked about this last week as well but essentially breaking out, all right, here we are coming up into this resistance, 29, 30. So the financials are pushing into resistance. These are areas that we want to look at, maybe to take some profits in some of our plays, all right, uh, and realistically see what happens, you know, if we can get a consolidation. Ultimately, you know, nothing to say that it has to stop here, all right. We're not predicting anything, but this is a good area where I think sellers are going to step in considering we're at the previous highs around $30 and see what happens then if we can get a continued move to the upside. XLI, here we are, brand new highs. Let's take a look at it on a little bit of a longer term. 10-year monthly, you know, nothing not to like there. Potentially even a inverse head and shoulders pattern on the monthly left shoulder, head, right shoulder, what does that mean? Well, essentially, if you wanted to measure this move, uh, this breakout, so you would have a breakdown, a higher low, and when you want to measure a, a measured move from a head and shoulders, you take the head to the neckline, which is up here. Okay, so that is, you know, let's just keep the math easy for this one. Let's just say 62 to 80, so that's $18. All right, then you would add $18 onto 80. So you're right around 98 bucks is the measured move on the XLI. And again, there is the head and shoulders pattern on the weekly chart, All right? But this one looks like maybe we got some legs here and 
we can move to the upside. So as we said, right, the uh, in order for this market to continue moving higher, we definitely need some participation, some rotation, and what looks like the XLF, which was doing really well, you know, continues to do well, but that's pushing into resistance. Now the XLI picking up some steam. Also XLK breaking out to new highs, as we said last week, continuing that move this week. And there is our little setup. But here you go. Uh, let's see what I want to do. I want to just make this white. But realistically, if it can stay over 79 bucks, the XLK, then this is, I'd rather be long than short. And I want to ride this as long as I can. So XLK starting to move higher. And again, we talk about it, you know, pretty much for the last three weeks or so. But the market is in a period of time where it tends to outperform. We're going into Q4 of 2019. And realistically, you know, the last quarter of the year with the holidays and everything, it usually just is a strong time for the market. So I would not try to fight that at this point. Just try and get, pick up some profits uh, and let the stocks run as long as they can. XLP still in that consolidation between 60 and 61.50. XLU, right? Defense names not really doing the best. And why would they, right? This is the time where you're looking for outperformance. You're not looking to play defense. So what's happening? People are selling their defensive names, their high yielding, you know, um, uh, utility names, and they're moving into more growth names in the other sectors. And that's exactly what this shows here. We could see that we've outperformed the SPY or I'm sorry, underperformed the XLU uh, for the last not only seven days, down 3.36%, but now also for the last 30 days, not a spot that I want to be putting any type of money to work. The XLU, you know, again, I would just stay away from that at this point. Uh, XLV, all right, pushing up into resistance right around 95. So let's see how this handles 95. Again, do we consolidate for uh, below this level right here? Consolidate breakout to the upside remains to be seen, but again, XLV starting to pick up some steam as well. And last but not least, the XLY, which is really a discretionary name, one that you would normally consider would do well in the last uh, half of the year, but in all honesty, it may actually be a, an early 2020 type of move where you start to get the reports from the uh, discretionary names like the toy makers and the um, you know the uh, the retail names. And that's what kind of sets this apart, but it's really setting up well. If that is going to be the case, you know, think about this. It consolidates for another month or two, and then come January 2020, we get a breakout. Well, then this thing could start running, and again, rotation out of other names into the XLY. So all in all, and I know I went through this pretty quick, but all in all, you know, markets are, are really set up for a, a continued move higher. And again, I'm not saying that we don't need some rest after uh, this type of move. In the SPY, right? Essentially, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. The 20th day above the eight day moving average. You know, I would love to see some rest, okay? But realistically, market's going strong. And I think you want to be long it than short it. So uh, stick around for the next video. We're going to check out some trade ideas for this coming week. If you're a little under under invested uh, and then for members, we'll check out our trade or our portfolio video uh, and go over our trades and the things that we did this week to, uh, to take some profits. All right. Have a great rest of the weekend and we'll touch you in the next one. Take care.